today's video i am going to teach you how to draw the directed graph g corresponding to the adjacency matrix so this topic is from graph theory so here is the adjacency matrix and using this adjacency matrix we have to draw the directed graph see here see here they, it is a 3 by 3 matrix so i am taking three vertices that is v1 v2 v3 and here also this is v1 v2 v3 and now I have to plot all these uh, vertices. So here is V1. So this is V1. And here it is V2. And this is V3. See here, this is V3. And now I have to draw this graph. So before going to draw this graph, see here, there are relations. So if I take vertex V1, so it has a relation with the other three vertices, V1, V2 and V3. So V1 and v1 has one edge so v1 to v1 so here this is v1 to v1 so it has one edge and next one v1 to v2 it has one edge so from v1 to v2 so i have to draw the outgoing edge so this should be in the direction towards outwards and next v1 to v3 has one edge so v1 to v3 so i have to draw and outward edge so this is the direction from v1 I have to give so from v1 it should be an outward edge and next clear so there are three edges here this is one this is two and this is three from v1 so this is from v1 and next one coming to v2 so this is v2 and it has relation with the other three vertices see this is v1 v2 and v3 so v2 makes an edge with v1 so, V2 makes an edge with V1. So, it should be towards V1. So, it should be in this direction. Clear? It should be in this direction. And next, V1 to V2. V2 to V2, it is 0. And V2 to V3, it makes 2 edges. So, from V2 to V3, it makes 2 edges. So, the direction should be towards V3. So, they are 2 edges here. So, the direction should be towards V3, outwards. And next one from V3, it has three vertices. So, V1, V2 and V3, it is making relation here. So, V3 is making an edge with V1. So, V3 is making an edge with V1. So, here there is already an edge, but it is towards V3. So, if I make an edge, it should be outward edge. So, the direction should be towards V1. So, clear and there is no relation with V2 and V3. So, uh, wherever we have 1 here, 1, we have to take an outward edge. So, 1 to 1. So, this is out towards outwards. This is an outward edge. And next, V1 to V2. V1 to V2, it has 1 edge. So, this is V1 to V2. So, I am taking an outward edge. The arrow should be towards V2. And next towards V3. So, I have to take an edge towards V3. So, it is a directed graph and it is also very, very simple to understand. So, V2 to V1. So, from V2 to V1. So, I have to keep an direction towards V1. It should be outward edge towards V1. And next V2 to V3. So, V2 to V3 makes two parallel edges. So, this is... Uh, these are the two parallel edges which are making an outward direction outward direction from V1, V2. And next one V3, V3 to V1. So V3 to V1 already has an edge but it is inward edge. So I have to make an outward edge from V3. So this is the graph and this is the which graph it is? Directed graph. And this is also very important, very simple to understand. And see, hope you all guys understand. If there is one, we have to take an edge and it is towards the outside, outside the edge. And if it is two, you have to take two parallel edges. So two parallel edges and it should be towards the other vertex. And see here, if you don't understand that one, at least you can understand. Please concentrate and it is also very easy. So, it is a 4 by 4 matrix. I am taking 4 vertices. V1, V2, V3, V4. And here also this is V1, V2, V3 and V4. Now, I, ha I'm, I have to plot 4 vertices. See, this one is V1. So, this one is V1. This is V2. And this one is V3. 
and this one is uh, v4 so this is v3 and this is v4 hmm? so v1 v2 v3 and v4 and now see what happens here and in this graph v1 to v1 so there is no edge at all and v1 to v v1 to v2 there is one edge so v1 to v2 there is an edge here and next v1 to v3 there is an edge v1 to v3 see here there is an edge so it is towards v3 so the direction to uh, is uh, outwards outward edge and next one coming to v3 so v3 with v1 no relation v2 v2 no relation v2 v3 it has one edge from v2 i have to take an edge and it is towards this one it is towards uh, see here the directed for the directed graph it is so important and next one with v4 there is no relation here v3 to v1 so v3 to v1 so i have to take an so from v3 to v1 zero relation v3 to v2 zero v3 to v3 zero and v3 to v4 one so v3 to v4 v3 to v4 it has it should be the direction should be outwards from v3 and next one from v4 to v1 it, it makes one edge so v4 to v1 so it is making an edge like this see sorry sorry it's making an edge like this and with the other vertices 0 0 0 and this is how we have to draw the graph and this is also so simple if you follow these directions see here v1 to v2 so v1 to v2 so it is towards outwards from v1 and next v3 so this is also from v3 so the direction should be outwards of v1 and next one v2 so v2 makes an edge with v3 so v2 makes an edge with vt and it is also towards v3 and next v3 to v3 to v4 one edge is there v3 to v4 and it is also towards v4 and next v4 to v1 so v4 to v1 makes an edge and it is towards v1 and these are the simple tricks so which you can draw any other undirected graph or undirected graph in my previous video i have shown you how to draw the undirected graph and in this video i'm going uh, hope you I guys understand how to draw this directed graph if you really like you can draw as many graphs as you can and pass it on to your friends practice well and subscribe to this channel and for more videos check the playlist thank you so much